Hi Aries and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what's coming in for you in relation to love, romance, matters of the heart. This is going to be a general tarot reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again, the reading here is intended for Aries. That's Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And of course, to those of you that may be cross-watching as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the messages coming in. Okay, the magician here. The Eight of Cups in Reverse, the Four of Pentacles, Temperance, the Two of Swords, and lastly, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, um, the Magician here. Okay, this is, I feel like, is a good and gentle reminder of everything that you need right now okay so if you're seeking any answers if you're looking for validation or anything that you need right now um, the magician here pops up to remind you that everything is within so some of you are looking externally you're looking externally for answers or you're looking outside to uh, for people to reaffirm and um, a lot of you are doing this where i feel like you're you're sort of allowing for people you're giving people the responsibility and the control and you're and they're reaffirming your character or your beliefs here and that's very dangerous so those of you who are looking outside externally for your happiness here you're not going to find it elsewhere it's all within here so the magician here is just a friendly reminder that everything you need here you possess and you have it within you okay the magician here is also associated with the number one here which is of course the number of new beginnings and new opportunities here so i feel like the message here the magician brings is just to tap into your full potential rather than hold back okay and rather than feel like someone else has the answers or someone else has something that you seek no it's you here aries you have everything that you need in order to transform something here okay in order tra to transform yourself a relationship or a connection here speaking of transformation this is exactly what i feel like needs to happen um, i feel like because the magician is quite an alchemist right um and i feel like for some of you there is something here that you you need to like transform a situation of some sort here okay but you have you are resourceful and you have that ability and that concentration that's needed in order to perform this alchemy here so when you do get the magician here it often does denote a new love or a new like a new venture it's but it's also a, a sign to take action. Instead of holding back here, you need to take action on a certain situation. Okay? Otherwise, you potentially miss out really great, wonderful opportunities. So harness some of that magician's power to create that very thing that you desire. Okay? To manifest that person back into your life. To manifest that ideal partner, that ideal relationship. Okay, you have it instead of looking, you know, elsewhere, it starts with you here. Thoughts, you know, thoughts create thoughts of things, okay? They create your reality. So watch what you put out there because essentially you're manifesting, okay? You're manifesting your reality here. And don't hold back here. There are you are making things manifest. And there are things happening for you, but just make sure you are in alignment here with manifestations. I'm also seeing that there is something here. You either need to walk away from someone or I feel like someone here is walking away from you. Now, if that's the case, do not chase after them. Do not follow because whatever it is, I feel like there's a door that closes here for you, Aries. And you need to know, and as painful as this may sound, but whatever is behind that door is not meant for you. This is why it's closing 
for you here okay so if someone wants to take an exit from your life it's because this isn't your happily ever after this isn't your forever person this isn't someone whom you're going to settle down and build a life and a family with and as painful and as comfortable as it might be to hear that um, I feel like you know the truth is as painful as it is you know it's never as hurtful as a gentle lie because that the hurt that a gentle lie can give you lasts forever here so do, do not chase anyone who takes an exit from your life anything that anything that ends for you does so because the universe wants to create bigger and better opportunities to manifest in your life okay so don't try and resist what the universe has in store for you the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay there could be something happening here for you something that manifests for you within four to five days from this reading here it could also be a little bit longer like four to five weeks this could also be a reference to time though four to five p.m it could be some communication here conversation that needs to happen that needs to take place um, a very important conversation an uncomfortable one but a very important one there could be some very important happenings within your energy here you might even have certain evidence of your manifestation start showing up in your life here provided you align with those but four and five i do feel like is a you know four to five days or four to five weeks time frame is something important to look out for here okay i'm also seeing that the four of pentacles here is because it's such a hoarding and such a greeting type of energy someone here is holding on very tightly onto something or someone there's a fee here it's almost like this person fears that pentacle will escape them okay so there's a fee that if they don't hold tightly enough this very personal thing might elude them that's not healthy and if you're in a type of relationship where you feel like you have to hold on and um cling on for dear life ask yourself are you really in the right relationship here now temperance i'm also seeing be very patient with your manifestations i did mention that there are things happening for you now new beginnings sometimes though endings are often disguised as new beginnings so again do not chase after anything that ends for you do not you know spend countless days or hours asking yourself why is this happening why are they, these doors closing why is this person walking away for you from you everything that's happening for you everything that's happening right now it's not happening to you it's happening for you and it ultimately is for your self-growth your discovery and it does serve in the best in your best interest okay so be very patient things are manifesting for you maybe they're not the exact manifestations that you want but they are the exact manifestations that you are aligned with so make sure you do align with things that are positive here now the two of swords here it's a very stagnated kind of energy if you feel like you're stuck or if a certain relationship is stuck and is not going anywhere ask yourself okay ask yourself you know look at things a little bit closely and ask yourself what's keeping you stuck what's keeping you stagnated what's keeping you in a rut okay because i feel like there are some things you're not seeing much like the blindfold here that wraps around the lady's eyes she's not seeing okay she's not seeing her predicament there's something here she's not seeing she might be choosing not to see it she might not be she might not be seeing it because it's not that obvious or apparent for whatever reason though if she were to remove her blindfold i think i feel like it would be easier for her to make some sort of a decision here and to get herself unstuck so it all comes down to the way you are perceiving a situation okay all objects are dimensional here so you know it depends what angle you're looking at basically um, there's something that you're not seeing you've also got the moon here okay and notice how they're sort of um, reflecting at one another now to, the moon is all about closures the other thing that's keeping you stuck there for a lot of you Aries, and you might not know this, but on a subconscious level, there's a situation in which you not received closure. Now, maybe there's a certain person who hasn't given you closure, um, or maybe you've just never drawn your own closure. However, you bring that closure about, it's important for you to get you moving and to keep you unstuck, okay? That's going to be very instrumental in getting you some progression and some momentum. There you have it guys these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing um, feel free to also check out my other tarot love messages that i do upload on my channel thanks again guys for your support for those of you interested in the reading feel free to connect otherwise bye for now